Hello everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. Months after the income tax rate, the centre has now reportedly cancelled the FCRA licence of the Centre for Policy Research. The Economic Times report quoting sources said that the licence was under scrutiny after income tax surveys on CPR and Oxfam India in September last year. Oxfam's FCRA license was revoked in January 2022, after which the NGO had filed a revision petition with the Home Ministry. Officials also said that CPR's license was revoked recently, citing non-compliance of FCRA norms. The society had filed for renewal. That modalities are being worked out now for CPR to utilize the funds received in FCRA account. As per CPR's Filing the FCRA received in their account for the period October to December 2022 was around 10 lakh rupees, which included donations from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, University of Pennsylvania, World Resources Institute, and Duke University, among others. CPR also receives grants from Indian Council for Social Sciences Research, and it is also a Department of Sciences and Technology recognized institution. According to those familiar with the details, the findings of the income tax searches on CPR were cited as one of the reasons for suspension of the FCRA licenses. The ministry, it is learnt, sought clarification and documents regarding FCRA funds received by the New Delhi-based think tank. The report quoted a senior government official who said that the FCRA license of CPR was last renewed in 2016 and it was due for renewal in 2021. However, the government granted an extension to several NGOs, including CPR, till September 30th due to the COVID-19 pandemic and amendments to the FCRA. As per the receipts issued by CPR, the NGO received foreign funding from several sources, including Ford Foundation, which in the past has come under the scanner for donation to activist Tista Sitalwal's NGOs, Citizens for Justice and Peace and Sabrang Trust then registered under the FCRA. Sabrang's FCRA license was cancelled by the Home Ministry in 2016. Sital Vad was then jailed in a different case and was later released on bail. The Gujarat police had booked her for fabricating evidence in 2002 Gujarat riots. Now let's talk about what is this FCRA license. The Foreign Contribution Regulations Act uh, regulates the foreign donations and ensures that such contributions do not adversely affect internal security of India. It was first enacted in 1976 and it was later amended in 2010 adopting new measures to regulate foreign donations. The FCRA is applicable to all associations, all groups and NGOs which intend to receive foreign donations. It is mandatory for all such NGOs to register themselves under the FCRA. The registration is initially valid for five years and then it can be renewed subsequently if they comply with all the norms. Registered associations can receive foreign contribution for social, educational, religious, economic and cultural purposes. Filing of annual returns on the lines of income tax is compulsory. In 2015, the MHA then notified some new rules which required NGOs to give an undertaking that the acceptance of foreign funds is not likely to prejudicially affect the sovereignty and integrity of India or impact friendly relations with any foreign state and does not disrupt communal harmony. It also said all such NGOs would have to operate accounts in either nationalized or private banks which have core banking facilities to allow security agencies access on a real-time basis. Now, this action on CPR comes almost five months after the IT raids on Oxfam and CPR as well. The CPR is headed by Chairperson Minakshi Gopinath and President and Chief Executive Yamini Ayer. Earlier, CPR was headed by journalist Pratap Bhanu Mehta. Now, let's talk about the HW point of view on this matter. These actions against think tanks and NGOs are not new. But in the last few months, these are becoming quite frequent. Thus, it begs a question. Are we being so paranoid about every entity that possess even a slightest possibility of being a critic? Look at the sequence of events. In the last few months, BBC documentary was banned. IT raid were conducted at BBC offices. IT survey were conducted at BBC offices. Last year, IT department raided Denik Bhaskar. 
The raid came against the backdrop of its critical reporting on India's handling of COVID-19. There were income tax raids on IPSMF. In 2021, controversy erupted over cancelling of FCRA license of Missionaries of Charity, an NGO founded by Mother Teresa. However, the FCRA registration was later restored. Now we become paranoid when there is a devoid of sense of security. When one is secure and confident about themselves, criticism is welcomed and not feared. But when one isn't secured, that's when the fears take over and the paranoia seeps in. But this constant state of paranoia does no good to vast democracy like ours. Instead, there needs to be a meaningful and solution-based dialogue. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in.